Hi, in this article marketing video series, in this video we're going to talk about marketing your articles. So this is the actual fun part. So, so we've already gone through things like writing articles, you know, you know, inserting affiliate programs. We've already had the article set up and ready to go. So the, the last question that you might have and the biggest and most important question that you should have is how should you market these articles? There are many avenues which you can use to market your articles. A lot of people stick with just submitting to easy articles and you know article dashboard.com and article marker. However, in this video we're going to talk about different things. You can submit them to article directories, that's just one thing, or you can set up a blog. What better way to use blogs for this purpose? So, let's go ahead and get started with that. So here is the article that we just created. We have the article here and we have the resource box along with the affiliate links here. So one thing to keep in mind is that when you do submit your articles to say easingarticles.com or any other thing like that, you want to make sure that the title is what you want to rank on. So if there's a certain keyword that you want to rank high upon, that has to do with job interviews you might want to change that around right now but since we're just doing this for an example we'll keep it as it is so right now I am looking at google.com the first thing we want to do is talk about article directories now when you submit to article directories the one thing to keep in mind is that you want to submit to article directories that are very popular submitting to the smaller ones first is probably not the best option because what happens is when you submit to easingarticles.com and you know go articles and things like that the good thing is that these articles are going to be fed down into other article directories because what other article directories do is they usually go to these other sites and parse the articles off of that so the first th site that we want to look at is called easingarticles.com easing articles is a great place to find so many different types of articles of different categories. And the best part is that when you do submit an article, most likely it's going to show up in google.com in the top 10. Because I don't know if you remember earlier, we had you know, copied the title and copied into Google and checked it out to make sure it was listed there. And most of the time it was. For example, if we use that technique, we're looking at an article right now that says keeping intruders out which is a fairly big topic and a fairly big need for most people since security is a big thing. So if we do a search on that without quotations, notice that I, I did it without quotations because when you do it with quotations it narrows it down to like only 4,000 which isn't a lot. But if we take the, this out because most likely most people are not going to put quotations, we can see that even so that same article is on the top 10. So it's, a, it's the number 7 out of 165,000, which is very good. So think about it. If you just submit an article to Easy Articles and that's it, you could still get a lot of good search engine rankings. Now, keep in mind that you want the best possible. So we're not only going to submit to easingarticles.com, we're going to submit to other large article directories. Now in this video I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as you know every single site that we go to about submitting articles but I'll give you a good overview since you most likely will know how to you know fill out a simple form or do things things like that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do to get started with easingarticles.com is submit articles. So go ahead and click this link. Here. And the one thing I like about easing articles is that a lot of times it has this which is basically it tells you what you need to put in the form so even though it's quite obvious anyways and even if you don't want to think that's the big part if you don't want to think then you have these help audio here so what you want to do is go ahead and fill out your information your email address your password first name last name and of course your mailing address and phone number and things like that so go ahead and go and do that so the one thing that easy articles mentions is that you are allowed 10 initial article submissions. Uh, so that are 10 initial free article submissions. Now if your articles meet their quality standards, which basically means if your articles are top-notch quality, which 
You want it to be that anyways because your reader is going to judge you and that's how you have good conversion rates. If you do meet those requirements, then Easy Articles is going to allow you to qualify for a platinum status, which basically allows you a limited article submissions. So that is your goal in to get that status. Now, one thing to mention is that if you fill out this first name, last name, it says you know your initial author name will be created, but you can add pen names. Pen names basically allow you to, let's say that your name's Steven and you go by the name. Your nickname is Bob or something, you know, your pen name basically. Your pen name allows you to write about stuff. Let's say that you're writing about a different topic and you don't want the whole world to know that it is you. Because you sometimes when people, you know, use article marketing for the purpose of producing income, they don't want everybody to track down everything that they're doing. So you can use a pen name. So that's a nice added feature there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside the Easy Articles account. So this is what it looks on the inside here. And uh, we got, you know, different things, different tools that you can use. You have an article manager, account manager, profile manager, and things like that. Uh, the first thing you what you want to do is when you submit an article, you want to choose a subcategory or category. So you want to choose something that relates mostly to your article. Now, since our article dealt with job interviews, we want to find something that is similar to that aspect. Once you've done that, you simply want to enter the article title. And if you're clueless about it, as I mentioned earlier, Easy Articles has those little audio buttons where you can click it and you can hear what's going on. Article title. Your article title is the most critical component of your article. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to go back to the article that we have written. And we're just going to copy and paste that. And the one thing about easy articles is that they don't allow you to directly link to affiliate links. Go articles allows you to do that. And that is the reason why I sort of mentioned that you need a sort of double whammy. So you need an affiliate program and you need to create a resource box that gives you a double hit so that when you run into this issue, then you won't have a problem with it. So you can have keywords here and you can write stuff like job interview tips and we can make it more detailed like we can make our keyword phrases so that they are not too general. So we'll just leave it at that but you can enter more if you like to and what you want to do is you want to enter a abstract slash article summary slash teaser copy which all that means is basically a piece that of your article, like a little small percentage of the piece that gives whoever is reading it an overview about what they're getting into. So 